So I think that this clip of Jamie Foy doing a front crook actually shows the cheat code to actually learning how to do this trick. So today I'm going to test it out and see if just a regular skater like you or me could learn how to front crook like Jamie Foy. So I've created like a six step plan for just a normal skater to learn front crooks. But step four is like the actual cheat code. But first step one is we're just going to get warmed up with 10 tricks on the ledge that we're going to be learning on today. So step two is pretty simple. You just gotta learn how to transfer the weight onto the front foot like Jamie Foy. So this step's pretty basic, but you're basically just gonna do 10 nose stalls and really focus on landing with all the weight on your nose so that your tail can like lift up into the air. So we're gonna do 10 of those and then things are gonna get a little bit more interesting. So part four is to copy Jamie Foy's foot position. Whenever I front crook, I mean, it's a big thing that a lot of people don't know is that they don't really hang their foot all the way across the board, their front foot. So pretty much right here, big toe hanging off. And after I pop and try to slide and jump forward onto the ledge, what I imagine is like trying to like grab the corner of the ledge or the rail with my toe. So pretty much, and I'm on top, I'm not on the side, I'm on top. And so far, like that's kind of the more surefire way. I've tried so many different foot placements to see how, like what are the odds of locking into a front crook. So as he explained, he hangs his toes almost like he's doing a heel flip. And then when he pops into the crook, he also leaves his toes hanging off and that gives him the leverage to hold that patented Jamie Foy pinch. So the next step is pretty basic. We're just going to do 10 nose stalls, but hanging the toes off, learning how to ollie and land with our toes hanging off the nose. So Slowly and surely we're building up, getting comfortable with each little technique of the front crook. So step four out of six, this is the cheat code. The reason I call it a cheat code is because I realized Jamie Foy does this trick a lot simpler than I ever thought it was. So when I first started to try this trick, I would come parallel with the ledge and try and ollie and tweak and dip my nose into the front crook. But if you watch Jamie Foy, he actually rides at the ledge at the same angle that his front crook is gonna be tweaked. So essentially he doesn't tweak his front crook. He just comes exactly from the direction that the front crook is pointing and ollies straight in and gets his wheel on top of the ledge. So now that we've practiced Jamie Foy's foot position with the toes hanging off to give you the leverage, all you gotta do is roll up at a slight angle, practice ollieing straight, getting that wheel on top of the ledge with your toes hanging off, and that should give you the leverage to actually get in and feel what the pinch is like. So I'm gonna try and get into the pinch at least 10 times before we start really trying. So step five and six are to first wax the ledge. Wax the hell out the ledge. I wax I wax the ledge a lot. When you're trying to learn a, a trick like a front crook and you want to hold it, friction is not your friend. That way we can start with very, very little speed and then step six of six is just to add a little bit more speed so we can actually carry some momentum. And once we get into that pinch, we can actually grind along the ledge for a little bit. So with all those practice steps, hopefully now we can get a front crook.
because that definitely helped me get into the front crooks easier. Getting out is a completely different yeah. story, but if you did enjoy this video, you gotta check out this one. It's Jamie Foy's Secret to the Front Crooks. Different perspective on the same trick, so make sure to check that out. Remember to make every single day a Friday, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.